Hi guys, it's Natalie, and today I was just thinking about a lot of things, and I thought about music. And, you know, music is something really important to our society, and to culture, and to just so many things that I just feel like it's an extreme outlet for pain and just happiness and everything, right? So, this being that being said, um, you and a lot of people around us have uh, iPods, MP3 players, you know, etc. Things that play their music because music is so important to them. They want it to they want to have it with them all the time, um, you know, everywhere at every moment for long periods of time, for short periods of time, you know, just a lot of things like that. So, what's the best MP3 player, iPod, for you? What is it? Or can your phone just be it? Or this this is where this answer, this, this question is kind of answered. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm the kind of person that cannot go a day. Sorry, you guys, I'm still sick, so please excuse my voice. <clears throat> I'm the kind of person that can't go a day without her music, because music to me is like just everything, okay? And lately, since I've gotten my iPhone, this is my first iPhone, by the way, you guys, um, I've been using this primarily as my music device. But the one bad thing with that is the battery life, um, the, the space. I have a lot of music, so it just isn't the most logical option for me, right? But I have, for backup, you know, the iPod. And this is the classic. And this has 120 gigabytes. Well, this only has 16. So, I mean, 120 gigabytes for music and videos and movies and everything that you want is perfect. So the iPod Classic, for me, is, like, amazing. You know what I mean? It just... I don't need a little touch screen, all right? My phone is my playing device. I do not need anything to just waste time with to do all this crap. I need music because that's my primary problem, you know, just always having it with me. So, that being said, if you're the type of person that needs music with you all the time, I'd go with a separate iPod next to your phone or something. Or I wouldn't go with, per se, a touch screen. Like, you know, um, an iPod, an, I, an iPod Touch. I wouldn't go with that if that's your, your main focus. If music is your main focus, and as much music as possible, and as much movies as possible, I know here and, here and now, in this day and age, what people go for are touchscreen. Because touchscreen is just so, you know, personal, and it's just so intuitive. But... It just isn't logical if your main, your main problem is always having music with you. So go with something that's got more space. Go with something that has more ergonomics. You don't want something so heavy if you're going to have it in your pocket all day or something too big or something too small that can get lost in your purse and, you know, just, and has a small screen if you want to watch videos. Go with something ergonomic, has lots of space, and is not per se touch screen but works and then on the side you can get a tablet tablets now nowadays tablets are can go cheap you can get a tablet for like 70 bucks if you really look hard so that's not a problem you know unless you don't want to go out and spend 70 bucks and you just want an ipod touch which makes sense if your main goal isn't just music 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 but you want to have music and then at the same time have <clears throat> a little bit of gameplay, a bigger screen, you know, all these things, yet a smaller battery life and less less capacity. So, <clears throat> in this little thing, in this little video, being that I just, you know, let you know and informed you and all this stuff, you probably already knew this already, but, you know, you're on YouTube and you click this video, so you probably just wanted some reassurance. Um, anyways... This iPod Classic, a lot of people wouldn't go for this. A lot of people have it because they bought it a long time ago before the iPod Touch. I actually have had this for a few years now, like two, three years, and I haven't even dented the capacity, the space. I've used about <coughs> 10 gigabytes. Ooh. And um, it's 
got 120 gigabytes. So, I mean, I haven't even dented it. Anyways, um, the screen is not that big. No, it's not. And in sunlight, it's a pain in the ass because it just doesn't work in sunlight. And a lot of other things about this that don't really work for me. Um, but one thing I do love about it, and I'm going to say the things that I love about this iPod, is the fact that it has so much space. It feels substantial in my hand. It's not like a tiny MP3 player. <coughs> Which, by the way, nothing's wrong with MP3 players. MP3 players, a lot of people like dub them off because I, Apple is like the new thing. You just want an I, iPod or, you know what I mean? MP3 players are still amazing. You can get an amazing MP3 player that's touchscreen, or you can get an amazing MP3 player that has as much space as this and as all the things that this has. You can for less. You really can. The only problem is they're not as... How do, how do I... What's that word I'm looking for? They're not as, like, shown. Like, you don't... They don't put it through like TV as much they don't advertise it as much as Apple is advertising because Apple basically their their fan base has been brought because of the social media and because of their efforts in advertisement that's what's gotten them up there and <clears throat> and mp3 players there's just so many that if it just wouldn't be logical for an mp3 company to just start advertising as much because the market has moved on the market has moved on but mp3 players are still really really good so if you're don't if you want to get bang for your buck if you don't want to hurt the wallet go for an mp3 player you guys i'm really like i said go to radio shack look on their site and look for some mp3 players you will be surprised at what you'll find best buy all these places you will be extremely surprised at what you will find <clears throat> the mp3 player market has grown so much and there is so much variety that there is really never a, a point that you'll not find what you need in every way shape or form or maybe with some drawbacks but almost everything so look into mp3 players ipods iphones ipads sure an ipad is great for all these things and you know you can listen to music on it and stuff but let's be honest you're not going to use that as a primary device and I'm pretty sure 90% of my school everyone has like an iPod of some sort and <clears throat> geez and I'm pretty sure I, I don't know the statistics here you guys I'm not like some weird scientist I can just whoa these statistics out of nowhere but I'm pretty sure that a whole lot of people who are going to be watching this video have iPods or iPhones or Android phones that can play or MP3 players. You've had one, you you used to have one, or you bought one a long time ago, or you're thinking about buying one. Everyone does because music is such an important part in our lives. Or maybe you're still listening to CDs, but if you are listening to CDs, that's pretty insane. I haven't, I have CDs, but I, I never open them, I never look in them because it's just so much of a hassle. You put it in you play it and it's only got these songs while on an iPod you stick it in that's what she said you play it and you've got hundreds of songs of different artists it's not just that artists so do you still listen to CDs that's a really good question I don't know I mean CDs have just are just kind of old for me cars are starting to include um, plugins for iPods and iPhones and now you can go buy them even if they don't originally come with it, and to connect it to your car. I mean, just the market is growing so fast for iPods, and they've grown in the past years so fast. So if you haven't already got an iPod or musical playing device, do so because, I mean, unless you don't listen to music. Who knows? There are some people who don't. But it's really strange <laughs> if you don't. Well, that's just my take on everything. I hope you learned something from this, or I hope you got some ideas. Make a video of your own. Leave a comment below if this helped you any, and thank you guys. Bye.